Welcome, welcome, welcome to The Tonight Show. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Well, guys, uh, today President Biden kicked off his European tour in the U.K. and met with British Prime Minister Boris Johnson. Yeah, at first, Biden didn't even recognize Johnson. He thought he was a hungover Weasley brother. And <laughs> But Biden and Johnson are getting a lot done today. They launched a task force to reopen travel between the U.S. and the U.K. When they heard that, Harry and Meghan were like, you can try all you want. <laughs> That's right. Biden and Johnson are trying to reopen travel between the U.S. and the U.K., which is great because it means we're one step closer to Kamala Harris finally visiting Europe. And I haven't been to Europe. Yeah. <laughs> I've never been there. Biden and Johnson were actually supposed to meet on a small island before bad weather changed their plans. This is the island right there, yeah. That's a shame, because I love it when world leaders hang out at locations for Mario Kart. <laughs> Did you see that cute island? I mean, come on. <laughs> Meanwhile, if Putin invited you to a place like that, you'd be like, oh, let's do it somewhere more public. Uh, let's go to the M&M &M store. Yep, Biden and Johnson met at the site of this weekend's G7, uh, G7, and right across the street, an artist built a sculpture of the seven leaders made out of electronic trash and called it Mount Recyclemore. Take a look at this thing. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of sad Trump couldn't even get his face on Mount Recyclemore. Yeah? <laughs> sad. Uh, that's right, President Biden spent the whole day over in the UK, and you know the British have some pretty colorful slang. So, but so does President Biden. So we thought we'd put together a quick tutorial on the differences between how they use certain phrases. For example, first up, we have slag off. To someone in England, that means to criticize someone. But for Biden, it means something we used to hear at the butcher shop off Main Street. It was run by a man named Three Finger Carl. The way to cut of the good stuff, he'd ask you, you want the slag on or off? We didn't know what that meant, but he'd give us free raw hot dogs to put in our shirt pockets to keep us cool on the walk home. Put hot dogs in the pocket? In the shirt pocket. Shirt pockets to keep yeah, you cool. To keep you cool. All right, it's interesting. Cooked. Let's look at another example. We have uh, Bob's your uncle. The British use that to mean, and there you have it. But to Biden, well, Bob's not just your uncle, kid. Bob was the archbishop of the entire Catholic diocese of Wilmington. Good man, better preacher. He could do that trick with the holy water where he put it in his hand and shoot it out like a little missile. If he ever caught you dozing in the first pew, he'd blast you right between the eyes. God bless him. Interesting. I, holy water? Finally, we have uh, throwing a wobbly. To the British, it means having a tantrum. But to Biden, well, that's when you get two kings and nine and the instructions card, and you're playing my favorite gambling game, Sneaky Canasta. Loser has to suck on a bunch of pine needles or eat a popsicle backwards. Lick the wood stick clean while you hold the ice pop. <laughs> Just interesting, interesting difference. Interesting. Hey, this is cool. I saw that Mattel just announced its first line of Barbie dolls made from recycled plastic. That's great, but honestly, I feel like they could have done a better job with the name. Garbage Barbie. I, I just... That's not good. It's just odd. That's yeah. Cool. Uh, get this, 7-Eleven uh, just announced that this year their free Slurpee giveaway will not just occur on one day, but for the entire month of July. Uh, it's part of their 94th birthday celebration, which means they're almost as old as the hot dogs on the rotating grill. <laughs> um, and finally, uh, this is very exciting. Today, Mayor de Blasio announced that New York City is bringing back the Macy's 4th of July fireworks show. Yeah. Of course, the big fireworks show will immediately be followed by the car alarm spectacular. We have a great show. Hey, hey.